The F-35 is a fifth-generation stealth multi-role fighter jet with the most powerful engine in the world. It can reach Mach 1.6, which is around 1,931 km per hour from a single engine. It has the most advanced sensor suite in the world, including the active electronically scanned array radar that is jam-resistant, the distributed aperture system giving the pilot a 360-degree visual, an electro-optical targeting system, and advanced electronic warfare capabilities to jam enemy radars. It can carry the joint air-to-surface standoff missile, which is a stealth GPS-guided cruise missile with an operational range of 926 kilometers, and the HARM GPS-guided high-speed anti-radiation missile, which has a range of 300 kilometers. There is a common misconception that stealth aircraft are undetectable by radar. This is not true. On the 27th of March, 1999, the 3rd Battalion of the 250th Air Defense Missile Brigade of Yugoslavia downed the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk using the Russian-made S-125 SAM along with the P-18 radar. In this video, we will cover three systems the Russians would use to deal with the F-35. The Krasuka-4 Electronic Warfare System The Krasuka-4 is an electronic warfare system consisting of two vehicles, the one L-269 Krasuka-2 and the 1RL-257 Krasuka-4. The system can interfere with signals for aircraft and drones within an effective radius of 300 kilometers. The Krasuka-2 system detects and targets the F-35 radar, then it will trigger the Krasuka-4 to jam the radar and scramble GPS signals. This will affect the F-35's target acquisition abilities and will lower the accuracy of GPS-guided missiles. This system alone will make the F-35's mission much harder to complete, as it is heavily dependent on GPS. This would be a cakewalk for the F-35 stealth, but the GPS jamming negates that. The F-18s would probably be a better alternative. However, the pilots would have to fly low and get danger close with a targeting pod just like Tom Cruise did in Top Gun 2. The Nebo-M Radar Complex the Nebo-M has a combined extended range of 3,800 kilometers and is capable of targeting the F-35 and F-22. The system consists of the RLM-M radar, which is a 3D VHF and UHF acquisition radar that can detect targets flying at Mach 6.4. The RLM-D, which is an L-band active electronically scanned array radar that can track targets flying at 18,000 kilometers per hour. And the RLMS which is an S-band active electronically scanned array tracking radar that is jam-resistant and capable of tracking stealth aircraft. All these radars link up to the command post, which will then send the data to the S-400 for targeting. The S-400 Triumph The S-400 Triumph can link up to the Nebo-M Stealth Buster to track and target the F-35. The S-400 missile system also comes with its own integrated multifunction radar with autonomous detection and targeting systems. It can track up to 300 targets while engaging 80 with the ability to intercept up to 160 incoming missiles. The S-400 can detect aircraft, rotorcraft, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones, and ballistic missiles up to 600 kilometers away. The S-400 has a maximum engagement range of 400 kilometers and can hit targets traveling at Mach 14 with a maximum altitude of 30 kilometers. The S-400 usually has the Pantsir S-2 and Tor M2 linked up to the S-400 command module, which protects the S-400 from harm and cruise missiles. That's how the Russians would deal with the F-35. With the combination of the Krasuka-4 jamming GPS signals, the Nebo-M for targeting the F-35, and the S-400 for long-range precision strikes. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to like the video and leave a comment to help Gunner Heat Tank grow. Until next time.